Hello guys. Good morning. This is Marinette here once again and Blanca Salinas. And happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. <laughs> and you know why uh, we are here in the garden, Miss Blanca? Why are we here today, Marina? Because the flower blooms. <laughs> Look at that. There was one rose there. Anyway. <laughs> It's getting the there. flower is blooming and two days from now it's gonna be spring uh, springtime spring is time. just around the corner guys yeah Yay. so spring 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 common problem is miss blanca allergies and so that's what we are going to be talking today yes. so guys what is allergy okay miss blanca well this is on my part because that's my topic. Ah. <laughs> no, but allergy is when your body is hyper-reacting to, your immune system actually, is hyper-reacting to something that is a foreign invaders. And normally these foreign invaders are not harmful, but unfortunately your body is panicking. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. So with that being said, then that is allergy. It's an hyperactive immune response to something that your body thought or perceived as dangerous. So what causes it, Miss Blanca? What causes it? It's a panic. Yeah! <laughs> it's crazy, the panic. Your immune system doesn't um, know what to do. Does not recognize whatever. Um, oh, it does recognize it, it, it. But it sees it as... Everything is threat. Yes. Everything is dangerous. Yes, like, it sees it as harmful. It might not be harmful, but it's something that you don't deal with day to day. That's why they call it spring allergies because it's that season that's coming. Uh, the pollen from the trees, from the, the grass, flowers. from the flowers, from the weeds. So it's something that you're not exposed to or you may not be exposed to every day and your just body doesn't recognize, recognize it. it. So once the body doesn't recognize it, it flooded you with so much of these symptoms. So what are the common symptoms, Miss Blanca? You have a stuffy nose, your sinuses, you may be feeling itchy. You look like you're having you are on drugs because your eyes is all red or and watery. Puppy. And so watery. But the question is why this is so watery and stuffy? Well, because your immune system is so deranged and crazy that it produces tons of like mucus secretions to make sure that this mucus is there to trap all the foreign invasion that are coming into your body. Mm -hmm. And then your body starts, you know, opening your blood vessels starts opening and uh, so that the WBC can start uh, eating all these foreign bodies. So in the process, you will become like red because there is like so much influx of blood and then so much in, uh, flood of histamine. Histamine is there to like start uh, preparing your body for attack, invasion of the unknown. <laughs> and so you're gonna be like tired, very tired, stuffy. Because your breathe. body is trying to work really hard against yes. this. It's something that Sad. it's like, what is this? It's something I'm danger. Danger! <laughs> Everything's danger! I'm panicking, going to the rains. Send the army out! And so you become crazy. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> You become crazy because then you cannot breathe, your eyes is watery, your nose is stuffy, you're like having a hard time to breathe, you know, and then you're very tired because yes. your body is working too hard. So these are the common symptoms that yes, you can I'm find during sure that time. If you don't suffer from allergies, I'm sure you know of somebody that always is congested or has a runny nose or... You know they suffer from itchy itchy watery eyes so. and it, even so sometimes you can even die especially those who have allergies to peanuts you know they even like stop breathing anymore and they need to be like type of allergies yeah so you know? so one of those is like peanut is not dangerous peanut we eat them we love peanut i love peanut butter Unfortunately, other people with peanut allergies, mm -hmm. they would end up even intubated. Yes. Like, you know, because even just the dust of peanuts. So what's wrong with that picture, you know? 
why why something so beautiful your body cannot handle it so we probably that's when you know you need to really like dive deep and see what's going on to all of these things you know that your body is hyperly reacting so let's go dive in into what can we do to help during the seasonal allergy yeah. and Blanca I brought you guys into the garden because look at in spring it is so beautiful Blanca right it's relaxing out here <laughs> yeah the weather is so nice you can hear the birds you can see the sun you know the air is so fresh the flowers are blooming it's so beautiful mm -hmm. out in the spring but can you imagine it's so sad some other people cannot enjoy this mm -hmm. and I'm very very sad but you know guys I think we are here for to share to you our little tips as much as we can do because you know I have some allergies too but my body managed it very well I'm very thankful for that you know so let's dive in into management Lanka so, so what's one thing that we could do to, to help manage allergies yes. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Water. <laughs> Not just that water, but sometimes I, I, I like to drink um, alkaline water. Mm -hmm. I love alkaline water. So, because alkaline is really good for your body, because, you know, the body that is alkaline has less bacteria, I mean, has the ability to, to withstand diseases. But, water and hydration is the main key hydration 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 that's all i would say so hydration means that not only like you know oh i drink a lot of water i drink plenty of water yes you do drink plenty of water but sometimes those water can be toxic to you because you know what kind of water are you drinking one number two how much water do you drink but a lot of people based on my experience with some of my patients they will say i drink plenty of water my question is but what did you eat i eat a lot of cakes mm -hmm. yes ma'am you eat a lot of cakes and do you know sugar is very dehydrating mm -hmm. yeah so true. in every every amount of sugar say a tablespoon of sugar you need to drink at least two cups of water to flush the excess sugar that you take so the body needs water to eliminate all the toxins that we're putting into the body and that's when i have to go next to the next management because not only sugar and all the foods that we are eating all the toxins that we're exposing ourselves and the number one toxin toxin that toxins that are exposing ourselves to is I go panic, I go so nervous, I go so scared. What happened next is you gotta get super dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Yes, because during that process, it's called the stress and the flight and fight response. And during that time, your body would need tons of fluid in order to create all this energy that you're trying to generate so it is so sad that you know sometimes we don't think like we're we're not panicking but yes you're not panicking but you're worrying yeah that that affects you a lot that's true. right have you noticed it when you're worried what happened next blanca you start getting stressed uh you could even start feeling sick and you can't so even sleep you can't sleep and sleep is the number one thing we need the body needs in order to regenerate mm -hmm. but you don't grow when you're stressed so you got stunted you got more fatter you got more everything of yeah. more that you don't want so that's why the law of attraction is very true when you want to attract good things or positive things into your life you don't put out negative things you put out positive things and so positive things goes into your life so i mean i know there are times that we need to be scared but sc fear shouldn't paralyze us you should always focus for me i'm sorry guys but for me i'm a different person i focus more on yes there will be like scary things there will be like things that might freeze us but I focus more on courage, love, passion, you know, those energy that are very positive because I want to attract all those positive 
vibes into my life and it's so fun to have that so it's either or i told myself i'm gonna die either or i'm gonna die miserable i'm gonna die happier both ways i'm gonna die anyway so which way w would i want to pick so i want to die with a smile in my face right <laughs> <laughs> So those are the two common management and one management that I truly, truly like to do is when the world is too burdensome for me, mm -hmm. I close my eyes. That is called meditation. That's when I close my eyes. I just listen to myself. I just hear my voice and I could sense, oh, this is panic. Oh, this doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, that's fine. But I don't want to judge myself. I just want to listen to myself. And that way I could be more aware of all those emotions that could trigger more release of stress hormones. So when I do that, it makes me more calmer. And when, I'm, when you guys are more calmer, you can think better. That is true. Because people who are panicking, panicking never think uh, wisely. They think life like i just want to eat today and i just want to live today yeah. and that's it i don't think about what's the one that when i cross the street is there something that is also like endangering me what is my priorities what is mm -hmm. the most important thing which step would be more beneficial not only for me but to the people around me so you become selfish and it's normal to be selfish when you are under stress mm -hmm. right miss blanca yes. so next thing you need to be hydrated and you need to learn how to manage your stress next thing mm -hmm. is what miss blanca another um good way to manage is Allergy. Being yeah, to manage your allergies is trying to keep your airways uh, clean all the time. Um, yes. There's a saline that you could use. I know for my little ones, it's hard. You know, they cannot clean their their nose. Um, they're little, so it's with little kids you use a saline and suction. So you could do that for yourself too if you're have very congested. I know there's ways that you could clean. Um, your, airway. your airways mm -hmm. and so that way it's not feeling congested and bothering you and, and that's frustrating so just trying to keep your airways clean, clean. That's, that's yes another one. yes it's very important though because in that in that time you needed oxygen so can you imagine if your nose is so stuffy like there's no way the air can go through so it's there's no oxygen yeah and then you're breathing with, through your mouth or at night it's really hard at night when it's like during the day you're fine and then at night you're so congested so, so you trying to do that before you go to bed too or in the mornings and too. then you wake up very tired because the body cannot repair you because during you the repair process well. the repair process needs oxygen mm -hmm. and that's the reason why also when you you cannot sleep well your body needs more oxygen it's so funny because during this process the body needs tools but you're not giving them tools mm -hmm so sad and then additional things and the other have? one is we could help um, alleviate some of this allergy symptoms. symptoms through through supplementation boosting um, your immune system mm -hmm. to boost your immune system we could always always help that of course uh, food is important very very important and also supplementation could help too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's very true so supplementation is very important because it's basically giving your body tools that it needed in order to, to boost bo your to, immune system. to create yeah more resources for your body that in times of danger and stress you can pull out resources mm -hmm. but when you don't do that then where would the body go to get it from your bones from your mm -hmm. this and then you're gonna have osteoporosis <laughs> you cannot walk you're breaking your bones all the time <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay guys so why not let's go now miss blanca to the things that we can suggest to them uh that they can use so, so for you one of the supplements that i have at home um and i have for my family is called immune okay yeah okay mm -hmm. immune blend so immune and this uh contains a well immune uh, and basically it just helps you it helps you with your immune system it, yeah it is what it says it is it helps you boost your immune system so that you don't you don't have to you know feel sick 
you know, of course, all of the managements that we're talking about, hydration, you know, stress, it's not, it's not going to help with all of that. It's not going to fix your problems, but it's going to help boost your immune system. Um, so having something like this at home helps. I know um, with children, too, we have a, a formula for, for children as well. The immunity. So that's so why immunity. even how much danger there will be around your area, if your immune system is really like a super soldiers, like, you know, properly thinking, not deranged soldier, they can combat all kinds of diseases and toxins that are out there mm -hmm. once you supplement and you take care of your immune system really well. And sometimes uh, with us in the hospital or in the uh, doctor, most of the doctor would say, this is way on the on the on the healthcare management wise when your doctor starts knowing that you do have these allergies you know you know what are your allergies my mom before because i do have allergies to shrimp and crabs so my doctor mom told my mom to desensitize me meaning give me a little bit of something of that so that my body can start recognizing but mm. this is uh, but this is managed and monitored by doctors and, and physicians. Uh, I mean, by, by healthcare workers. So, but because you can go into the anaphylactic shock, we call that, where you shut off your airway when this is not monitored. So, you just don't do that by yourself. That is one of the healthcare right. management already. But for home management, of course, you supplement your immune system. When you supplement your immune system, then it becomes a very powerful body to combat all the bad things. And then for me, I would just suggest, this is what I use for myself. I'm into like um, essential oils. So I do use this trio pack. This contains peppermint, uh, uh, lemon, and lavender. So these are my my little soldiers here because if my and also i do have i use also the terra the terra's uh trio packs the same thing it's um also your peppermint lemon and peppermint lemon and and lavender so these three oils especially when i start getting more stuffy and i would have like you know nasal congestion drip and it's really bad because then your sinuses get plugged up and you can barely breathe you know so what i do is i carry this in the hospital so i would have a mixture of this three yeah and then i put this in my in my bag so that i will have access to this every time i need it and it's very good because what i do is in my mask i would spread a little bit of my of my in my blend of essential oil and then i wear this and it smells so delicious not only delicious but it peppermint help opens up my airway lemon helps clean up my my uh you know the bacteria and viruses in the air and lavender helps me calm down so i mean it's really a good blend for your immune uh, for your allergies especially the seasonal allergies and the one thing i've learned about essential oil is that essential oil has the ability to when you put that in your skin because i blend them and i mix this with my carrier oil this is a carrier oil which is made of uh, of jojoba oil one of the best uh, carrier oils in the world is like when you put that in your skin your essential oil it get absorbed into your body very quick quickly and that's why when you put that when you smell the essential oil you can can feel that good sensation immediately right so when you smell that or when you put that in your skin it gets absorbs quickly and then it oxygenates you because of course this essential oils comes from the plant so plant resins or plant blood contains oxygen a lot of oxygen so with that you oxygenate your your body and you feel good when you're oxygenated and that's why when you cannot sleep you lather yourself with with lavender and you feel so relaxed you fall asleep and then you feel good when you wake up in the morning because you're not only truly rested but also oxygenated mm -hmm. and as Blanca was saying <coughs> you need to moisten or clean your your nose your airway so one of the thing I use is a diffuser 
Mm-hmm. This diffuser smells so good with the essential oil. And not only that, it is not hot. It's really like cool because it's made of water down there mixed with essential oil. And when I diffuse it in my room, and that for me, it not only cleans my air, it also humidified my air. And not only humidified my air, it also like you breathe in more oxygen less bacteria and viruses on the air because essential oil has the ability to has the property to heal bacteria and viruses why because they come from the blood resins of the plants so plants they are stuck there just like my trees they're stuck out there and they have to deal with the environment day in and day out so with that what do these plants do with the bacteria and viruses in the air they develop their own immunity so basically when i inhale them or i put them in the skin in my skin i get their own dnas too so when i do that i tend to like develop my own immune system towards all these bacteria and viruses in the air I essential oil. So that's it for now, Miss Blanca. Yes, yeah. I hope this helps. Give um, a little bit yes. of tips and information for those who needing it. Mm-hmm. And so for us, we're going to link down to you all our yes. information that you need to get hold of us or to view all our products that you might be interested. So... Yes. What would you say, Blanca? Yes, thank you for having us. You guys have a good St. Patrick's Day. Yes! And we see you soon. Bye! Bye.